Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So I'm really excited about this project and I can't wait to show you it. But before we get there, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it every time you guys stop by. And hey, if this is your first time, make sure you click on that subscribe button and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. I try to do it every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So this week, I can't wait to show you what I do with this Lazy Susan that I picked up at the Target Dollar Spot. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you what we're going to do to really take this up to the next level and I can't wait to show you. So give me a second, I'm gonna get my camera angle changed and we are gonna get making. started with this project I want to show you all the supplies we're going to need so I picked up this lazy Susan at the taller doll ha, I can't even talk the target dollar spot for five dollars I picked up a couple of these I just thought they were so cute and just a perfect small size and then Dixie Belle paint carries this decoupage paper and I almost it reminds me a lot of a rice paper but I just absolutely love these colors so we're going to put that on this lazy susan I am going to use some mod podge now I'm going to use the dishwasher safe just in case I got any type of water or anything on this I just think it's going to be a really nice idea to use this but you could probably use any type of mod podge or any other type of decoupage um, type glue I am going to use a chip brush and I've got a sanding block that I'm going to use just to finish off my edges I'm going to use a pen to just trim this up and some scissors and that's what we need for this project so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my paper on the top and I'm actually gonna cover this whole Lazy Susan I just think these colors are absolutely beautiful and it looks like as long as I kind of get it centered real good we're gonna be really good so I kind of know where I want it I'm gonna flip it over and I am just gonna make a mark with my pen just so I have an idea of where I want this to be. So I can at least trim it up a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna put that off to the side. We're just gonna trim this. Now this is a project, you guys, you could do with napkins also. You guys have seen some of my um, napkin projects before. Um, but I spotted this down at our local store. We have a store that's called Ish. Um, and it is in Shelton Homes, and it's here in my hometown of Shelton, Washington. And they sell all the Dixie Bell supplies, which I know you can get online also. But when I spotted this paper, I just knew I had to do something with it. It's one of those craft projects or craft ideas that you see. You have no idea what you're going to do with it, but you just get inspired by it. And this paper just totally inspired me. You know, spring is right around the corner, and so I just thought this would be a fun project. And then when I picked up these Lazy Susans, it was just a perfect fit. So that is going to look so pretty on my Lazy Susan. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take and take my Mod Podge, and I'm just going to put an even layer of Mod Podge across my Lazy Susan. Now this is beautiful wood on this Lazy Susan. So you wouldn't necessarily need to do this because it's so pretty, but for five bucks, I thought this was just a great project for us to do. So I'm gonna get a good even coat all the way across. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place, and we're gonna be really careful when we're placing this, Okay, I'm just going to kind of hover over it a little bit and then I'm going to drop it. And then I'm just going to very, very smoothly, very carefully smooth out this.
I did pick up, um, it's amazing what you can find at Crafter Square at Dollar Tree now, but I did pick up one of these little craft scrapers and I was gonna see if I maybe could use that. I'm scared that I'm gonna tear my paper and I really don't wanna do that. I'm just trying to see where I might need a little bit more. Oh, you guys, that's gonna be so pretty on here. So I'm not gonna use this. So I think I'm pretty well smoothed out, okay? And then I'm gonna put a second coat of Mod Podge on. And just an even coat. Now this does have a gloss finish to it. That's the type of Mod Podge I picked up. I am not going down the edges, you guys, but I am wiping my brush so I can see the edge because I am gonna want to tear off this excess paper, okay? So nice, even coat. You guys, this is gonna look like a weathered turntable when we're done, or Lazy Susan. I'm really worried about this spot right here. I think I'm gonna carefully pull it back up, you guys. Just didn't feel like I had enough underneath. Felt like I had some air pockets there. Perfect, okay. So I've got that on. Now, a tip you guys to get your Mod Podge to dry quicker is you can put it in the oven at a very low heat. Or you can just let this air dry. Okay, so there we are. How quick is this project coming together, you guys? So is that just beautiful? Look at those colors. Oh, it's just beautiful. And so I'm not gonna wanna tear this, okay? What I'm gonna do is once this is all dry, we're gonna use our sanding block and we're gonna distress the edges with the sanding block, okay? So I will join you back as soon as this is all dry and we will finish up this quick and easy project. So my Lazy Susan is all dry. And so what we're gonna do now is these edges that we left, I'm just gonna take my sandpaper and we're just going to very lightly rub the sandpaper against, and I love these sanding blocks. And you're just gonna rub it against and you can see how that is just gonna come off and finish that edge so nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that.
And there we go, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. I just love it. I got a couple little spots here. I'll just go around and clean up a little bit. But see how that edge is so nice? And I have got a beautiful Lazy Susan. I just love these colors. I'll make sure I put it on display and show you guys how I'm going to use it in my decor. And I'm so glad you joined me for another Inspiration Friday. And you guys, here's a close-up view of the spring flowers that I use. So it's Bell Whistles Spring Flowers. And I just I absolutely love it. Target dollar spot, um, $5 Lazy Susan, and some Mod Podge, and look what you can create. Thanks for joining me for another Inspiration Friday.